I feel like whatever feeling a movie has comes from a bunch of preconceived ideas about the, something, the visual, the music, the, the way the actors will play the scenes. But the actual way, it, what it adds up to be, is sort of always a surprise, you know? Even if you planned everything, when you add it up, it's never what, what you, exactly what you expected because you never could quite fully picture it. This Come is on. the hero one, here it is. Hey, Benny. Hey, Benny. Yeah. Benny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, come yeah. on. Come on. Come on, guys. Here we go, here we go. Come on, Ben. Let's go. Come on. Hey, Benny. Come on. Here we go. This is good. This is the hero moment. It's happening right now. Benny. 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 Come on. Smoke, good smoke. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's it. Good start. Good start. Yeah, that's great. Good job, Benny. We just finalized that color today. <laughs> we were just in Brooklyn picking the colors, and here it is. This may be the first coat. This is not the color yet. <laughs> That's going to be great, right? It is great, yeah. I like it, the amount of stuff that has to be made because the more stuff is made means the more like the more it is stuff that's never been nobody else has done it. Well, that's pretty unique. I mean, yeah, Margot's room is definitely yeah. Never saw that before. Well, that just comes from a restaurant down the street from yeah. me. Yeah. Every room in this house is a little bit surreal, you know. But the walls are color that's not really like real life, right? When you walk into this house, it's something exaggerated. It's a more of a saturated. Yeah, no, more saturated. It's, it's nothing like, like this. this. I know. And we're trying to get away from this because right. this is like just too dead. Yeah, this is totally dead. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we're saying, you know, look at how this is all cleaned up, how it's looking. It's yeah. really it's amazing. wonderful. This house is going to be incredible. Wonderful. I also feel like when the actors come into this house that we've got, that we've, we have all created, you know, it mm -hmm. can't, couldn't help them more if they're in, if they're interested, you know. Yeah. They're gonna just feel yeah. like it's all here. It's great. It's wonderful. It really is gonna exist. As you swing this around, the bird flies around. He starts watching me, and as the bird flies, he'll turn toward me, and I'll toss this up, and he'll come and try to catch it. And you'll bring him in. Catches it, here I grab it. <laughs> exactly. That's what he does. He starts trying to grab it. Each time he flies, I make it a game. Uh -huh. And every so often, initially, I let him grab it. You know, so he catches it once, and he knows that once he catches it, he's going to get food. He'll be flying. He'll he be can stupid. just hover He'll be above us. He'll be doing all kinds of stuff. So wow. if you want to have the camera guy? I don't know. That's your job. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know, be ready because he sometimes he'll go directly up, and he might just hesitate and turn right back down. It'll be some real good stuff that you'll be able to edit. If he's coming into my fist, we've trained him to come in on the fist, will he come in and then hover for a second before he lands? He'll probably come right to your fist. Boom. Boom. They go and lock on. It's and it's it's he'll probably act like it's a kill. He'll probably bring his wing down and start to cover the prey, cover the fist. That's what they normally do. <laughs> and then Luke will just bring him in like this. Sure. Yeah. That's yeah. good. But we can't, can, can you train him to take like a beat right before he lands in? Or they don't really do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't it look amazing to have him, to have him fly in and then go for a second and then uh, set up? But we don't have to do that. Yeah. We won't make you it don't. too complicated. <laughs> the Royal Tenenbaums, just about this family where the, the father left the family and the family then kind of disintegrated and everybody has all these kind of different problems. 
And so the story is 20 years after this introduction where we learn when they peaked. And then it tells us that after that, things went way downhill. The story's about the family kind of coming back together 20 years later and the father trying to get his way back into the family that he left and the effect that has on everybody. You know, I had my brother do these drawings. We kind of figured out this sort of different events in the family's history. Because one of the things was we wanted to tell this whole family history on the walls. Oh, that's a good falcon. Thanks. Cause that's a good one, actually. Do you, do you, you didn't do a guy on a ski lift? Well, well that's what those are in the distance, aren't they? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. OK, well, this is going to be a great wall. This is a picture I saw at the uh, Whitney. So I copied it off of the picture, like just the pose and stuff, and switched it to Royal and Richie. Here, I'll draw it. I'll show you the one I have. OK. I could show you something on the hair. Uh, let's see. My recent thing was to draw, I mean, I wish I just had the thing here, because I could, I could draw it better if I had the uh, picture right here. Something like this, kind of. That's the way I've been doing it lately. Does that give something different? Well, it feels totally different to me. I mean, that's, that's yeah, this. Yeah, uh, it's quite different. Right. This, but this doesn't look like Gene Hackman either, but right. neither does this. Well, that one, I could see the job done on Hackman, I felt like. Which, which one do you want my drawings to be? Hmm. Well, I don't know what it's going to look like anyway, once we actually see it. Much better, right? Just yeah. Just yeah. But I think we can work on the shadows a little. Because the hair does this funny thing, but I think it could just be a little extra work on it. Let's refer to the original and see. Because that's very similar to what you did, but it's just something in the hair. Closer to the ears, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think maybe if you, bring, if you bring the hair down on the sides a tiny bit, right. mm -hmm. it'll be more like it. Okay. We're just looking at chaz. And maybe just a little. To, uh, if it comes down to his ears a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that might... More of a shag do going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Chaz with shag. He has more, he has like kind of a... What's the father in the Brady Bunch? Tom? <laughs> Mike? Mike. Yeah, Mike. Do you remember that? Right, the, the curly, okay. Yeah, it's kind of curly with all the around. Burns. Mm -hmm. Right, without the burns, okay. but... <laughs> yeah, he's but he's, he's 12, 12, so... It's supposed to be Ben Stiller. If I color in the hair all with a sharpie, is that okay to make it even to make it match? That's fine. I mean, it'll weird? all be black, but it's fine. As will long it, as you don't mind it being black. Will it? Will it? Well, here I'll do the edges and then tell me what you think I ought to do after that. I was gonna do this. I'm doing it. So um, <laughs> do this. Do this. Do you think I ought to just color it in? Yeah, it's, yeah. If you want to. All right. I'll I don't see why not. That's good. That's about what his hair is going to be like in the movie. So. Okay. Yeah. There you good. go. Okay. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I was sure. a little nervous. Sure. <laughs> it looks really good. Now we just show that to the uh, hair and makeup people. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to be kind of a little bit relentless about getting all the details exactly, exactly as we planned them. So I think when people see it, they say, well, this is the script that was written and it's all in here. Um, because before, you know, I, did, I had stuff where there was some stuff planned and then some stuff, I say, well, this will be just as good. But then at the end, I feel like, you know, I'll, let's just do what was planned. Because sometimes I'll even forget why I wanted to do this, wanted to do something an exact way. And later I realized, oh, I wanted to do it that way because it ties into this thing at the end of the movie or something like that. So this one, I just tried to make it just the rule to be as close to the plan as possible 
not, I mean, that, but, that, but then the actors do something, you know, it, it's always different, you know, the, you want to be surprised by what the actors do, and the way it adds up together is always different. I can't stand that shot there. You know, for most, most people, it'd probably be nice. You want to be here. Yeah, I want to be there. Like this. Take a look at this shot right now. Right uh, there. I know what you're saying. Yeah. I wonder how, what it would do for us if we had a different approach to this house, which was we, we hand-hold stuff. See, I always thought that the way we'd shoot all the scenes in this house would be the camera would always be on a dolly. Right. And it would, all, it would be moving around, but there's no place to move it. Yeah. The only way I can't seem to figure out how you move it. You know we ought to look at? We ought to look at Boonwell. Boon, you know? Yeah. The way the camera moves in the Boonwell movies is they're always just in rooms, groups of people in rooms having conversations. And he doesn't shoot coverage. He shoots it in pieces that cut end to end, kind of. Let's do, let, anyway, let's do a Boone Well session and see what it. He always does the thing like he starts the scene on the plate of olives and moves to this, right. and they talk, and then he goes out to the two shot. And Are then you he talking moves about like the discreet term of the bourgeoisie? And yeah, or the and all the way through to the uh, anyway, at least starting with the. The, w the ones after he was back from Mexico. I don't know. Oh, man. What you want to be is over here, right? Nah, not really. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how we ought to do this one. I think we got to just let them go and see what we end up with. But then we'll just end up with some shots I don't really like. Here's the tricky part, sneaking into the house. You climb up here. Be very careful. <laughs> well, he didn't, let's see. Well, it looks, it looks scarier than it is, that you throw a leg over like this, <laughs> and you, and then you kind of act like you're Pull in something, you throw it open, and you climb in. That was Sam's thing that he did. I, I haven't tried it. How do you want me to do it? <laughs> if you can do that, it looked pretty good when Sam did it, but I mean, it, I just find it's kind of difficult. But, it look, but if you like walk right up and do it like you've done it a million times, You just, or you can just wait till the day. See what happens on the day. See if it even works for you. <laughs> I think you should go in and then Yeah, and then he kind of like just dove through the window more or less. <laughs> How would you hit it? That's good. Hey, it's time to shoot this. I Sam, I think we, I think it's about the right time. Well, the sky's like this. Okay, good. Let's trim everything we can off of that first one. You know, I have more experienced actors on this movie than anything I've ever done. The one thing I see so many of them do is they do a couple of takes, do their rehearsals, and you can sort of see them like figuring out how they're gonna attack. You know, I'm gonna pick this up and do this and say this. They figure out like their approach to it. They're sort of like sculpting it, and then they start just kind of running it. And you know, the other actors I've worked with. It's a little more 
it's a more like mechanical in a way and then more just totally spontaneous. I'll show you a scene with her in Hackman. A big scene with her in Hackman. Which was just like, that scene, I've, I've never been as nervous before doing a scene. And during the thing, I just felt like I was just stepping back and watching it roll. It, you know, the whole thing just went down the street. It's this long walk, fast thing. And once it starts going, it just goes. And, and you know, you can't believe that they're ma managing to keep them in the shot. You know, it's going so fast and they're stopping and turning back and everything. And it, but, you know, they got it. They're both, they're, and they're both really, I think they're both really great in it. But. So, Dan, do we have the sound now? Yeah. Let's take a look. Got a minute? What are you doing here? Uh, I need a favor. I want to spend some time with you and the children. Are you crazy? Well, wait a minute, Dan. Stop following me. Well, uh, baby, I'm dying. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sick as a dog. I'll be dead in six weeks. <laughs> Take it easy, Ethel. Where's the doctor? No, just wait a second now. Wait a second. Okay, listen, I, I'm not dying. But I need some time. A month or so, okay? I want us, I want us to... to quit. Back around with you! Damn. Ethel! Are you crazy? Ethel, baby, I am dying. Does that make sense? You feel? Yeah? Oh, good. <laughs> but that makes sense, what's happening, that he's saying he's dying, then he's saying, okay, I'm, I was lying. And then she goes, and then he said, I am dying, right? Yeah. Okay, good. If it makes sense, aren't they good? <laughs> the tricky thing is she's got to motivate him to say, he's got a game plan, he says, I'm dying. And she's got to motivate him to then say, okay, look, I'm not dying. Which is a big deal for him to step back off it. To change his game plan that much at that point is like suicide. And she's got to freak out enough for him to do it. And she does, you know, she loses it enough to where it makes sense for him to do it. He does a little look out to see if like people are watching them when she starts crying, which are like... And he also does this thing like this as she comes back to him like he's... She really hits him in that one. I mean, you can hear it. That's, we didn't put any sound on that. She hit him. At the end of that take, she says, oh my God, I really clipped you on that one. I'm so sorry. And he's going, yeah, yeah. But she kind of, she caught him, but it was the best one. Far away the best one. Have this be dark, mm -hmm. then have white labels uh, nearly as deep as, as high as this with playwrights in alphabetical order. I gave Carl the list, you know, so it just says O'Neill, you know, Williams. Okay. Because there'll be a shot that has a title on it, Library of Plays. So it'll be this whole space, and then it'll be her here reading Long day's journey into night, you know, and it fills now, the whole frame. All right, so we'll do in and inside and out, dark brown. That would be ideal. Okay. Is Eric up there? Yeah. There it is. It's good. Come on, come on. The big, the red stuff is fine. I gotta do. Oh yeah. It's a concept. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it'll be fun with just one, you know, two and two. Wow. Courts of Windsor Field. And Richie still has the look of the kid with the asshole. He came out like he wanted to. Yeah. 
I hope Gene Hagman doesn't look at this and say, well, I'm not going to wear my hair like that. <laughs> but we've been in some discussion of that already. And he but he, he's, uh, he's, he's resigned, right? He's, he's I think he's board. okay with it, yeah. This room's going to be really something. The thing that matters is, is the behavior of the actors and making those moments real, and that's what, that's what really an audience connects with in the biggest way. The other stuff is something that I feel like is my personal interest in, in those things, but that's not what makes a movie work, kind of, you know? I mean, all those things are important, but I, I used to be, that was all I wanted to talk about was the directors of photography and the you know, art direction and all that stuff. And now I just, that doesn't seem as interesting to me, even though I know I respond to it the same way I always did. Um, it's the, it does feel like the easier thing to do in a way. Um, so I don't know. But in the case of this movie, you know, it's sort of hard to make that case because we it's so flooded with all this kind of stuff, you know, with all these different, it, it's got like 300 different sets, you know, scenes that last for one line, we have to build the set just for that one scene, you know, and um, literally one line, you know, um, and many of them like that. Um, and some scenes with no lines, you know, we built, we have some sets where there are no people on the sets. Um, so, I don't know. I guess that I'm contradicting myself. You don't see my feet? Right? No. 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 Steve? Is that all? Steve. 136, take one. Mark. Mark. OK, here we go. Well, we take boxing and self-defense class. I'm not talking about dance lessons. I'm talking about putting a brick through the other guy's windshield. I'm talking about taking it out and chopping it up. What do you mean? Good, okay, let's roll back. We're doing that, good. Good. Right there? Yeah. Here we go. Well, we take boxing and self-defense class. I'm not talking about dance lessons. I'm talking about putting a brick through the other guy's windshield. I'm talking about taking it out and chopping it up. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> okay, good. All right, let's do one last one. Well, we take boxing and self defense class. I'm not talking about dance lessons. I'm talking about putting a brick through the other guy's windshield. I'm talking about taking it out and chopping it up. Well, what is that supposed to mean? He hasn't done that moment yet, has he? We take boxing and self-defense class. I'm not talking about dance lessons. I'm talking about putting a brick through the other guy's windshield. I'm talking about taking it out and chopping it up. Well, what does that mean? This is good. I, f I think um, in relation to making films, um, I don't know, kind of like everything's changed, so I don't know. I don't know how to think of it. Um, it's such a totally different endeavor and, um, now. Um, the, you know, the only thing that's the same is the, this weird thing of really feeling required to just work on this thing, to work on this, on a project, you know? Just having that be to be single-minded about making it, you know, that's the only thing that hasn't changed really. Uh, you know, that and looking through a little viewfinder and seeing what the picture is. But everything else is different. This is kind of a heavier one. Yeah. 
really hold him by his, the end of his tail. Okay, because why he's going to try yeah, to Yeah, because he'll whip up on you. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Uh, 300 left. Really? Come on, man. Turn to the left. Low on a little bit, just a little bit of air. Pretty good. Pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. They're That's the shot right there. I mean, this is cool. Right? Yeah. I mean, not as lively as you would have wanted it. <laughs> <laughs>